Hello everyone, welcome to NTH 2019 Video Solutions of Class 12th Mathematics Paper, NTH that is Akash National Talent Hunt Examination. So let's begin with the first question of maths from 12th standard. Let fx and gx be two functions defined in this fashion. Then the number of integral value or values of x satisfying the equation f of gx minus gf fx is equal to 1. Now four options are given. So let's begin with this question. What we actually require for it? First f of gx, then g of fx, then subtract the two. So let's start this question. Here you can find f of gx is equal to gx is signum x when you put here you are getting signum x whole square minus 2 of signum x also you can rewrite this function as x minus 1 whole square minus 1 that's clear so you can rewrite it as signum x right instead of x here minus 1 whole square minus 1 this is f of gx when you talk about g of fx let's check out what you are getting g of fx that is this term is replaced here for x so this gives you signum of x minus 1 whole square minus 1 subtract the 2 and say this is equal to 1 on subtracting the 2 what we are getting therefore signum x minus 1 whole square let's take this minus 1 on the right hand side so here you have minus signum x minus 1 whole square minus 1 is equal to 2 now this is possible only if you consider that simultaneously this signum x is 0 and this entire term after this signum that is x minus 1 whole square minus 1 is negative so that signum of something will become minus 1 so clearly we have signum x is 0 and x minus 1 whole square is less than 1 signum x is 0 when x is 0 when you put x equals 0 1 is not less than 1 what does it mean there is no such value of x which can satisfy the requirement so the number of solutions we simply obtain zero so correct answer for this question is option number one let's move on to the next question if a and b respectively the domain and range of this given function then the number of relations from a to b given by which of the following four options let's try this question this is good one when you talk about this entire term what is this written can we understand yes 4 times fractional part x plus greatest integer x meaning simply 4x 4x minus x square so what is the requirement 4x minus x square is greater than 0 but not equal to 1 next 1 minus root of minus fractional x now this term we need to define because logarithmic is there so what we need this entire thing should be greater than 0 this is greater than 0 at the same time this root sign it is also giving me some value so what we are concluding here this term should be greater than equal to 0 now when you are saying minus fractional x is greater than equal to 0 meaning fractional x is less than equal to 0 which is giving me only possibility equal to 0 so x is an integer this is one important result x is an integer when i get x is an integer from here i had conclusion x is in the interval 0 to 4 but excluding this portion in considering an integer so using this result as 1 this result as 2 we have from 1 to x is equal to 1 to 3 i'm sure this point is clear what i'm getting yes now moving ahead when you substitute this value as 0 log 1 becomes 0 so what is the range of this function just including one value so singleton set is there in range while range 
is 0. Now, range is 0, domain includes 3 elements, therefore, number of relations from A to B, which is given by 2 raised to the power m n, where m is 3, n is 1. So, it is giving me 2 to the power 3 into 1, that is simply equal to 8. Now, let us see from the given options. Correct answer is 8, which is given here as option number 3. So, I am sure this simple question is also clear to you. Let us consider the third question from this paper, which is question number 53. Which one of the following is not a periodic function? Let us look at the four options carefully. Cos mod x, how the cos mod x would be drawn? Cos theta or cos minus theta, it is same, meaning this is simply cos of x. So, it is not going to make any difference. Yes, it is a periodic function. Sin mod x, do we know the graph of sin x? Yes, when you talk about the graph of sin x, on the right side it is moving in this fashion, while on the left side it is moving in this fashion. But when you talk about sin of mod x, what is going to happen? It will be moving in this fashion. Yes, this function is non-periodic, clearly option number 2 is the correct answer. Similarly, you can check third and fourth, both are periodic. I am sure this question is clear. Let us consider the next one. 